Good morning, everybody. Um, it's uh, Friday freebies in February, and we have a winner, so stay with me here. I'm going to tell you in just a minute how I picked that winner, what game we had that you were not even aware was going on, <laughs> because I think a lot of people Googled last week. So I had to come up with something a little bit different. So we do have a winner. That winner will be announced at the end of this video um, in just a bit. Uh, this is going to be a short video. Uh, it's been a, a hectic couple of days, and I've had a hard time getting to the book. I got up at 3 o'clock this morning and did what I have done on this book. Um, I did redo my cover. I uh, went out to the, my husband's workshop because I had the covers just too um, jagged. So uh, I wanted new covers. I will use those covers for a grandpa book or something, some kind of grandpa something, and I may do that while I'm working on this. But um, I just wasn't happy with that cover. So this is page one and two. Whoops, and this is not glued down, as you can see. Page one and two. This page is glued down. This is glued down, but there will be more. I don't know what. This is not. Here, let's start with the cover. This is the cover. I want my cover to be very simple, like the other book was. Uh, and it needs something. I don't know what. I don't. There will be no sticks, bark, or anything that will braise in this book because I want to be able to really write in the book and and use the book. So this book will not be real. It won't be a huge gator mouth. It'll be a little bit of a gator mouth, but not huge. So uh, that needs a little something still. I don't know what. You know, I've played with it. I, that's what I tell you. You know, I let I do let my books talk to me. That might make a bow right there. That might make a bow right there. I don't know. That I didn't like, didn't care for that. I like this. I like this cheesecloth, and that's just really aged cheesecloth. So we'll see where we go with that. This is the sweet by and by. I just tore it, baked it in the oven, and then I edged it in Tim Holtz walnut. Did the same thing with this uh, praying hands. So on the inside, um, I did make a little secret tuck here. Now this is a secret tuck, and I. I glued it on this edge and opened it here so no one will even know it's there if you really want to put some secret prayers or thoughts or worries or things in that book. So that's why I put mine facing on the inside. If you want it to something to hang out, you can make it hang out. But if you want it to be hid down in there and only you know it's there, nobody would even think to look. So let's see. This is all glued down, but this page is not done. So I'll just be playing with this as I have time, and I don't know when that, you know, how, when I'll get back to it, maybe today. I just don't know. Uh, I don't know why my days are so turned upside down. I'm very hyper, very high strung. I go in circles. Now I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I love this fabric. This is Hobby Lobby fabric. It is in the homespun, on the homespun wall in, in my Hobby Lobby, and I'm sure it is yours too. Now that looks pretty good. Uh, I would have to tie something around it so it would stay and then glue it down. So we'll see on that. I'll be working on this page and this page. I won't do it anymore to the front of the book until the very end because I want this book to lay really good and flat. Uh, and the pages are not in here. Um, so um, we just we just have to see how it goes. Um, this is not glued down. I don't know that I want to keep this this way. Uh, let's see here. Let me just play a minute. This is what I do. I just lay a book on the kitchen table and I work on it a while and I'll get up and do something else and go back to it. I love creepy cloth. I am creepy cloth. I am, I'm not a fancy person. Creepy cloth is me. So I kind of like that creepy cloth. And it almost kind of looks like a cross back there. But I stretched it and did it just right. So I don't know. So that page would need something else. I don't want a whole, I want the book to be a little bit simplifi simplified. I don't want it to be all foo-fooed up. Not, not my book. Uh, and some of you are doing other themes, gratitude journals and just this and that. So that's where I am with this. So we'll see where it goes. I have not um, sewed all my pages in yet. Um, but uh, when I get ready to glue this, this page down, I will do that. Okay, let's see. I tell you what, I'm really missing Nancy Glazer on this book because she loved the Grandma Prayer Journal, and oh my goodness, she would be in hog heaven making this book. What a loss that was! I just, I just cannot get past it, and you have to go on, you know. And I, you know, we were just friends across the miles, but 
Don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't have true friends across the miles because some of these people, I mean, I hear from several of you, and you know who you are. I hear from you through private messenger and even in my stories underneath my personal page on Facebook. And I feel a real connection to a lot of you because I hear from you so often. I hear about your families and your worries and your thoughts and this and that and what's going on in your lives. And and I, in my stories every day on my Facebook page, I tell sometimes, you know, it's inspirational, motivational, or humorous or whatever. But a lot of times it is just a true life story uh, like I'm going to have one today. That's what today's story is going to be. So if you're not following my personal Facebook page, go over there and you don't have to send a friend's request. Just click to follow. And uh, you can read those stories every day. Sometimes they're funny. There's been a couple of funny ones this week. I, I did a story yesterday, I think it was, on dealing with all these technicians with the HP printer and the track phone and direct TV that's been all going on for ages. And you know, half these people, you can't understand them on the phone. And when I was talking to this man night before last, and he got a little huffy with me. He is the first telephone technician, and he was with track phone, and he got a little huffy with me. But I could hear roosters crowing in the background. So were those roosters in his little house or hut or cabin? Oh, my gosh, they were so loud, like they were right there just waddling around around him while he was talking on the phone. So he made me so aggravated being huffy with me, and he's, I said, listen, you are the, you took this job. That is what your job is, to help people, and I have a problem, and if you can't help me, you go play with your roosters, and I'll call back tomorrow and talk to somebody else that can speak English and uh, get my phones lined out. So that's what I did. I got the phones lined out yesterday. DirecTV seems to be working. HP printer seems to be working, but what a nightmare this six weeks has been. But then again, if you throw, if we'd all throw all of our problems in a big pile and we could pick one out of it, most of us would pick the problem we just threw in because so many people have problems so much worse than what we have. Okay, so that's it on the book. I'll be working on the book. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm just up in the air on it. Uh, I will have something soon on this book. Uh, one of the questions uh, that I'm getting, um, or I've had several on it, and I keep forgetting to mention it, uh, is the lace doilies because I use different shapes and things of lace doilies and so oh, what Etsy do I get it from I don't get them from Etsy I get them from Amazon they will come in a package of assorted shapes and sizes uh, or these just will come in a package just uh, I mean it's so much cheaper on Amazon and I know the people on Etsy if I had an Etsy I'd want people buying from me I don't have Etsy because I don't have time to spend 20 hours on a book and then have 20 people have it in their cart and nobody buying it. <laughs> so uh, I just do what I can. If they sell okay and if they don't, I, I'll give it away as a gift. So, uh, but so all of my, so many of my supplies come from Amazon. It's just easier for me um, and cheaper. So that's where that is. Uh, let's see. Tell your friends we're making the prayer book. Um, it's still time for everybody to jump right in. It's very simple, having to start with video one from Monday so they know what they need, and they need very few supplies for this, and they can lay it out. We'll be making the War Room uh, little book that goes inside your book somewhere, and that'll just be some little private thoughts and things that you can tuck somewhere for safekeeping that only you know about. We'll be making the mustard seed envelope. Uh, you know, there's a lot to do yet, and it's going to be fun. The book only has a few pages, but it's going to be crammed with good, 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 good stuff. And then room for you to write your own thoughts and worries and things in. Okay, this is Friday Freebies in February, and we do have a winner. Uh, I told you in the beginning that, uh, or Monday, that I would come up with something else this morning because I think a lot of you Googled before, or one person Googled and everybody jumped on the bandwagon. That was too easy. My husband said that was going to be too easy, and it was. So um, I had to come up with something different. So what I did was take the comments from Wednesday counted the comments. There were 12 individual comments. There were other comments under comments, but I counted 12 individual comments, not counting mine at the top. And I put them in the spin the wheel on the internet. And uh, the winner was number 12, and that was Mare Falls. Mare is our uh, welcome, our, our, not our welcome, our, um, you know, she lets you in. If you request to join our grandma's page, 
Mayor will uh, let you in. Uh, Mayor has one of the most time-consuming jobs in our group because all of those pages, all of your accounts are checked before we let you in. We don't let just anybody in the grandma's house. <laughs> grandma wouldn't do that, and this grandma's not going to do that because uh, we do have to be careful. Uh, we got in a mess the very first summer, uh, I, and I don't even know how it happened. I won't go into that. We want to make this video short, but uh, we... Um, Somebody got in with a chat room. A bunch of the grandmas jumped on the bandwagon because they had plenty of time to chat. <laughs> and it turned out to be a really, really, really bad chat room. And the grandmas were panicked and I was panicked. And, and we had a mess there for a little while until we got it lined out and got him deleted and blocked and all this stuff. Because I was new, totally new at it then. You think I don't know anything now? You should have seen me in the summer of 2018 when I started this. So let's see. I think that's it. Um... Let's see. We spun the wheel. We have the winner. The winner is Mayor Falls. Um, so I'll get this off to her just in the next day or two. Uh, and it is the little, I've got one of those for every uh, Friday freebie in February. So we got two or three more going out yet. Two more, I think. So we'll see on that. Um, that's it. I'll come back to you. Probably not before Monday, but... Uh, Monday for sure, good order will in the creek don't rise. Um, and uh, I'll see, I'll have these two pages done, and I may have a start on the next page. So show you what to do anyway. Um, and the next page, I believe, is the Bible. Yes, it is. It's the big Bible and the poem, the Hanward Bible, if that's what you want to do. If you're doing gratitude journals or other themes, you just do your pages like you want to do. If you want to PM and ask for advice or whatever, or post in the comments and ask for advice, that's fine too. Don't ever hesitate to ask anything. No question is crazy or stupid or, you know, anything you need to know, just ask and somebody will help you. I'll help you anytime I, I can. If I know you need help, I'll be there. So, okay, going to get off of here. Um, I think that's it. I hope that's it. Tell your friends that we're making the gratitude, uh, the uh, Grandma's Prayer Book. This is going to be a treasure. For those of you that are making the prayer books, this is going to be a treasure. And you can even, uh, you know, you'll have time to make them for Mother's Day or whatever if you want to do it. Or have classes in your church and help the ladies make their own grandma prayer book this is just a wonderful project i'm so glad we're doing it i'm glad we ended up doing it this way maybe this was the lord's will in the beginning maybe he knew i couldn't do 22 or whatever orders <laughs> and he knew i would eventually come up with the right idea so i'm so glad we're all doing it together so okay that's it i'm going to get off here and get busy have a ton to do today like every day and like you all do every day um any uh, questions, post in the comments below. Please leave a comment, click like, subscribe if you haven't already, tell your friends about us, and uh, that's it. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> Let's see. I think that's it. Okay, going to get off of here, and I'll talk to you soon. Love and hugs.